One time I set a hooker's wig on fire. The bitch had it coming to her. She tried to scam my buddy out of a blowjob, so I grabbed that snatched that wig off that bitch's head and I set it on fire, Jack. You know, who's better than you? You know, we ain't fucking around. I want to give you my love. Every inch of my love. What's happening, you bad motherfuckers? You know, Uncle Joey. Church of what's happening now. Alongside Lee Syatt, the flying Jew. Dun, dun, dun. You need schooling, and it ain't no fooling. Girl, you need me, and I'm drooling. I want to give you my love, every inch of my love. Whole lot of love. Dun. Not a whole lot of love. Dun, 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 dun. Drop your cocks and grab your socks, motherfucker, you know? I want to see nothing but assholes and elbows. The church of what's happening now, motherfucker. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Someone's sucking your dick today, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. We're robbing with three hands today. I want to give you my love. Every inch of my love. All I love. Me, not all I love. Like a doctor. Like a soldier. Huh? 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 <laughs> you know, dog, I'm telling you. The year was 1985, I was selling cars at a dealership, I was broke, I was snorting coke, and I, you know, I used to, you know, I used to live in this little 20 square foot storage closet in a office building, and I'm telling you, there was no bathroom, no, one, no running water, just a little cot on the ground, I'd sleep on the floor. And, you know, every time I had to take a shit, I would hang my ass out the window, take a shit, the little shit droppings would smear, slide down the window. Dog, I'm telling you, it was 1994. I used to go down to Chucky's Diner down there on Penny and Boulevard Lane, get myself a chicken dinner, you know, on the cuff. You know, Chucky knew I was good for it. And matter of fact, motherfuck Chucky, fuck that rat bastard, you know. Fuck him. And, and, uh, you know, dog, you know, fuck him, I never paid him back. But, um, anyway, you know, I'll go get a chicken dinner down at Chucky's Diner with the, you know, coleslaw and the kidney beans. The kidney beans that I like with a little bit of mustard sauce, you know, uh, motherfuck blue cheese and, uh, ranch dressing. None of that shit. Get myself a chicken dinner, um, glass of Coke, lots of ice, you know, and, uh, you know, I go back to my car. That's if it wasn't towed. Go to my car and go park it behind a dumpster somewhere and, you know, you know, I'd be snorting coke and smoking dope and, you know, just, you know, I have my little blanket from Kmart, some little shitty rat blanket that I've been using for years that I stole from a Kmart, you know, and I'd make myself a little bed and, you know, I'd go over my, uh, dog, I'm telling you, I'd go over my fucking joke book, I'd go over my joke book, I'm just reading my jokes, living in the back of a car. And I would just cry, dog. I would just cry and cry and cry. You know, I got something to tell you, Joe Rogan. In all those years, you know, on the road with you doing them shows with Red Band, you know, and, you know, we'd be... You take me on the set of news radio and dog, I'm telling you, you know, like, you were always a gentleman to me, Joe Rogan. You know, you take me to the set of news radio and you know i'd be eating fucking king crab i'd be eating giant shrimp scallops you know i'd just be shoveling it into my face and you know you know i felt terrible absolutely terrible joe rogan you know didn't have a pot to piss in but you always treated me like a gentleman joe rogan you know salute I'll smoke a little toot salutes <laughs> We're going to the deep water, kid. The murky waters of death, kid. 